AG47 Fantasy, welcome to my channel and today's video, football, it's finally here, Vikings versus Steelers, first game of the season, the Hall of Fame game, and I've researched it, I find a lot of value for the side, the total, and DraftKings Daily Fantasy, I'm going to start off by giving you my research and then the three plays, the side total and the fantasy. Okay, preseason week one, so dry, starters don't really play. It's already been announced Ben Roethlisberger will not play with his backup already injured. So that means Landry Jones, third-year quarterback, will play most, if not all, of the game. Pittsburgh Steelers' depth, when you look at the second, third team, is just terrible. You got a whole bunch of uh, second-year, third-year, uh, uh, or undrafted rookies, excuse me. And uh, the rookie they drafted in the third year, Sammy Coates, I think his name is, preseason reports show that he is looking unexceptional. So the, the skilled players that are going to play the second, third, and fourth quarters for the Steelers, I think, are just terrible. For the Minnesota Vikings, you're going to see Teddy Bridgewater, a quarterback, starting. And then you're going to go to the veteran, Sean Hill, and then Mike Kafka, They'll probably play all or into the fourth quarter of the games. Guys like Adrian Peterson, of course, won't play. But then you go to guys like Matt Asiata. You got guys like Charles Johnson. So they're, they'll be good for the uh, first quarter and such. But if you look at their later depth chart, they got a lot of experienced second, third year guys. Uh, definitely a lot better than what the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to bring to the table. So to me... Uh, this game looks like a mismatch. Now, as far as Landry Jones is concerned, the quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's in his third year. The two previous preseasons, he got stats of 52 completions over 101 attempts. Not that good. That's about 50%. 524 yards, which is only about 10 yards of the completion. Two touchdowns and four interceptions. So those are just god-awful numbers. He actually has played one full game before. It was a previous week four preseason game where he was 16 of 35 for 189 yards, a touchdown, and three interceptions. Again, not good at all. So with that being said, the play is to lay three and a half points on the Minnesota Vikings and go under the total of 34 and a half. As to me, this looks like a game that's going to be like 24-3, 24-6. Uh, 20 to 6, something in that area there is the score that I'm predicting for the game. Now, as far as daily fantasy sports is concerned through DraftKings, I made a video yesterday talking about Landry Jones and how I wanted to play him at quarterback. Well, stop that idea. I'm not going to. Now, if, if you haven't played with DraftKings, uh, click on the link below and uh, you'll be able to get in there, make your first deposit. They, uh, they'll give you a free game. But... I took him out of the lineup. I'm going to hope that a lot of people, 20-30% of the people, play him, and I think he's going to look really bad. Rather, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two lineups, and for tonight, I'm only going to have the Minnesota Vikings defense, and that's all I'll play for tonight's game. And the skill positions I'm going to play for Thursday, because how this works is you're combining tonight's game with the six games on Thursday. And there's late game moves on DraftKings, so I can edit them throughout the week. Who I think I'm going to play is a guy named Jimmy Garoppolo of the New... No, who I know I'm going to play is Jimmy Garoppolo of the New England Patriots. This is another quarterback who's in the same boat as Landry Jones for probably going to play most, if not all, the game. The only difference is, is he's amazing. This is his second year. Last year in the preseason, he was 46 of 79 for 618 yards and five touchdowns, scoring a touchdown in every one of his four games last year. He's a really good quarterback, but with Brady suspended for the first month of the season, he's going to be the guy, so they're going to have to get him ready for season shape. Plus, they want to develop him into the quarterback they know that he's going to be. He was a second-round draft pick uh, in 2014, so they definitely have a lot of expectations for him. So I'm going to plug him in at quarterback, and I'm going to get a bunch of receivers and tight ends, two to three, of the Patriots. I think the tight end, Human Walker, or something like that, the backup tight end, he really impressed me at the end of the year. I'll probably have on every single one of my two lineups, the Minnesota Vikings defense, Jimmy Garoppolo, and that tight end that I just named. And then put in different guys back and forth throughout that there. But I think the Minnesota Vikings defense could put up a lot of points because... 
with Landry Jones most likely going to struggle, I think in the first quarter, he's going to look really bad against the first team defense. But he's probably going to look bad against the third and fourth team defense as well. So I think you're going to get some sacks on him. Turnovers are definitely going to be in play. And maybe you get lucky, and, or I'll get lucky. And a pick six or a punt return or something like that will come in, and I'll get six points for a defensive touchdown as well. So for me, fantasy baseball is over because fantasy football has started. Fantasy baseball will return when the NBA season comes to a conclusion. But that's how I'm going to do it. My next football video, you know what, by Wednesday. But I might, find, might want to do one Monday, Tuesday, because information will come up. And uh, I got some work to do in researching the six games on Thursday. But I'm confident tonight that the Pittsburgh Steelers will lose somewhere around the area of 24 to 3. So thank you for tuning in and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye.